fourth cool thing I'm going to list here is those matrices that preserve the length of a vector when multiplied to that vector. Like we've talked before, the Euclidean norm of a vector x, x being x sub 1, x sub 2, etc., x sub n. This is the square root of the scalar product of x with itself. And this describes the length of the vector x in the Euclidean space. Now, what happens if there is a matrix where its transpose multiplied itself is the n by n identity matrix? If this is true, then the scalar product of x with itself is equal to x transpose times the identity matrix times x and substituting the identity matrix with a transpose times a, this is x transpose times a transpose times a times x. So with the associative law and that fact, we have this equal to a x transpose multiplied to a times x. What does this mean? This is the square of the Euclidean norm of x. This is the square of the norm of a times x. And because the Euclidean norm is a length, which is positive, the length of the vector x is going to equal to the length of the vector a times x, which means the matrix a, when, it, when it's multiplied to this x, this vector x, which gives you another vector, it preserves the length of the original vector. So the new vector is going to have the same length as vector x. We call this matrix unitary because of this property.